Right now, the Florida Highway Patrol is investigating a hit and run that left a Jacksonville man dead. Marvin Corley was walking on Beaver Street early this morning when he was struck by an unknown vehicle. Lana Harris spoke with the victim's family and joined us live with. Yeah, why didn't you stop? That's the question that Corley's girlfriend of six years has for the driver who hit him and left him here on the street. This is where police say it happened. We're at the intersection of West Beaver Street and Wheeler Avenue. Just from observing the area, you can see that there is some debris and tire marks in the street here. And we've got some video for you. We stopped by his grandmother's house earlier. This happened around 6 a.m. this morning. We actually got to speak with Corley's girlfriend, Hannah Fisher, who tells us that she had just seen him. She says that he had run out of gas and had walked to her job to get a few dollars. And that was the last time she saw him. She said he never came home. She says her father heard about the hit and run on the news this morning. So she came here to the scene and discovered that it was him. She says she's lived here all her life and knows this is a dangerous road to be walking on. Because she was so distraught, she asked us not to show her face. Take a listen. There's no sidewalks. It's dark. That road's always dark. There's so many people that get hit and killed on Beaver Street. I just don't understand how many people it's going to take for them to do something. They just left him there, you know? They could have at least called the police and then left. They didn't even do that. Now, Florida Highway Patrol currently does not know the make and model of the car, but says it could be red or maroon and have some damage to the right side or maybe missing a red tail like, uh, yes, a red tail lens. So if you've got any information on this or maybe you saw what happened or know what happened, you're asked to contact them. For now here in Jacksonville, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.